What's up guys, Loro Lego here with another mock showcase. This one is another one of the small modern houses that I usually make. It's uh, not very it's not very uh, big on the inside, but I built it mostly to show what Legos are capable of if you apply if you apply them right. So uh, this is another slanted roof house. I really like the slanted roof. And there's actually a carport that incorporates the slanted roof. And uh, I also put this uh, slitted piece right here. It acts kind of like a sunshade for the, it's like, like a patio area. And I actually put a backyard on this house, which is rare for me. So there's a pool and a, a smaller pool that I guess you could call a hot tub. And uh, also there's these little raised flower beds all over the house. There's the car, I'll show you that right now. Just get that out of the way. And uh, it's just a little, like a little convertible. Something I just put together to showcase the house. There's a lot of windows all over the house. I just uh, took apart the Parisian Cafe, so I, this is mostly Parisian Cafe parts. As you can see, the sidewalk is used right here, and then the olive green is used here at the house, as well as the gray. And there's a lot of windows in that, a lot of white windows in those houses, so I used those too. But uh, let's take a look on the inside. So I'll show you this right now. The top roof comes off like this. Just some simple bricks to hold it in place. And then, well first we should take this off. It's just a regular construction, nothing special. And then this part comes off like a typical modular building would. So let's take a look at the first floor. So if we we'll look at the patio, imagine that there is a slitted piece right here for sunshade. There's a door. I had to indent it because if I didn't, the door would interfere with the slitted piece and you wouldn't be able to open it. So it's indented. And then on the inside, there is a little lounge area, some wine, a weird chair design, and then actually under the staircase, I don't usually do this with the small houses, but I incorporated somewhat of a bathroom. So in there you can see a little toilet. I didn't put a sink or a shower in there. But you know, there's there's a sink over there, and you could just not shower. I mean, <laughs> it's gross, but you can do it. Anyways, so this is the kitchen, or kitchenette, I guess. There's a sink, a, an oven, and some drawers and cupboards. Uh, I guess this is soap. Not sure. It could be like a box of cereal or something. And then some stairs, it's just the stair piece with one extra one added to reach the top floor. With one extra step. And let's put this on. Ooh. It came out of nowhere. Anyways. So. This is the, I guess, loft, I would call it. Because there's... It's slanted and there's not really anything up here except for a bedroom. So you have a little desk that I guess you could use as an office area, a nightstand, a bed, some windows. They give you a lot of light up here, a lot of natural light, which is good because there's only one lamp and then a nice rug. And I'll put the roofs back on now. Roofs. I 
Oh, I forgot to show you this. So, in order to put the slanted uh, sunshade piece in, there's these little slope pieces that I put inside the wall. And had to do some, some math to get it to fit. But after that, it fit perfectly. So, I'll just get back up here on the tripod. So you don't have to see the shaky camera anymore. So this has been another small modern house with a slanted roof design. If you'd like to see more of these types of houses, make sure to like and comment saying you do. If you want to know how I did something, you just ask me. Also, if you want to see more, you can of course subscribe to my channel. And this has been Lower Lego, signing off.